YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video, back with some new pickups that I just got in the mail. So GameStop was actually running a promotion for these pops. They had them on an excellent price. It was a no brainer for me to get these into my collection and was really excited when these glams first popped up and even more excited to finally have them in person. So I'm gonna show you guys these pops that I got today in the mail and let me get your thoughts. Here we go. All right guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below as well so you're updated to my most recent content. Hit the bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So these pops I got in the mail are all from the Sanrio My Hero Academia collab. So I am missing two, but I wanna show you guys the ones that can't come in so far. I know a lot of people weren't really feeling these initially. I've been pounding the table saying these were going to be really, really nice from day one. And I think a lot of people are coming around to seeing that they actually are pretty cool pops. But let me know your thoughts. I'll show you guys these ones each individually. All right, so the first pop I want to show you guys, and I guess the leader of this line, is the Hello Kitty All Might. So this pop's really cool. I don't know what is the story behind the collab here. I don't know if Sanrio and Funimation had a deal. Um, or what it is or how the collab came together. But I thought it was a really interesting idea when they first um, had the titles of these pops. And then when I saw the glams, I thought they were even um, nicer. So I don't mind Hello Kitty. You know, as a guy, as an older guy, I, you know, I'm past that point where I'm trying to be cool. You know, if it looks nice, it's nice to me. And uh, there's nothing wrong with Hello Kitty. And uh, especially with the All Might costume on, I think it looks really dope. Um, I don't know how they chose the characters. I guess Hello Kitty, since she's the most famous of the Sanrio characters, she has to be All Might. Um, but it came out pretty nice. I know there is a metallic one as well. Um, I think for Hot Topic, I you know wasn't really needing that one. Um, it's a little bit higher price. GameStop had the regular one. Um, I think these were $8.99 each instead of $11 or $12.99. But they look really nice to me. I think they did a really good job of executing them. Um, they didn't go too far overboard of making them. Um, into uh, the My Hero Academia characters. I'm gonna take this one out just for a second. I'll probably will never take it out of the box again. But I just wanna show you guys a closer up view of each of these. Um, so you guys, if you are looking to add them to your collection, you can make an informed decision. So here is the Kitty, Hello Kitty All Might right there. Um, you know, I just have the regular All Might costume. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Didn't, didn't decide to give her the hair like how All Might does or anything like that. Um, so like I said, it's a really subtle, uh, really subtle pop, but I think it really shows that it's the My Hero Academia and not just a regular Hello Kitty in a different costume. I think you can definitely tell um, that this one is from My Hero Academia. So yeah, this one's really cool. Um, it's not my favorite of this line, but still one I've wanted to have in the collection. Like I said, I am missing two. Um, one of them was sold out, the Melody Ochako sold out and then I thought I ordered Tuxedo Sam but for whatever reason I didn't I think maybe I was thinking I could get the one from Box Lunch because they have a metallic one there and um, they're actually excluded on Box Lunch money so I um, kind of missed out on that so I have to get the Tuxedo Sam um, hopefully they run another deal or something like that but the next pop that I got was this Pochaco I think Deku um, this one actually looks nice. I wasn't excited about this one originally because I actually have never seen this character before uh, from Sanrio. I've seen the others, all the others, but I have never seen this guy. Um, like I said, I'm not a Sanrio fan. I think they're cool looking, but um, I didn't really grow up with them or anything. I know they had a show and also they have all the, you know, merchandise. Um, but yeah, this Pochaco one is really cool. I think he did a, did a good job in putting a Deku costume on him. Um, Deku's not my favorite My Hero Academia character. He's just a little... He's not rough around, rough enough around the edges for me, um, but he's all right. I got so many of the Deku's in my collection, so I figured this one is one I guess I had to have. There's a closer up view of him. Um, he does look a little bit like Snoopy with just the white um, body and the black ears. As, I guess he's a dog, he looks like a dog, um, but Hello Kitty's not even a kitty, so I don't know what these Sanrio characters really are. But there's a closer up view of him. Same deal, he just has the regular Deku hero costume on. And uh, yeah, it's a really dope looking one. 
Um, I think these are all extremely underrated. I'm not sure if they'll be ones that people seek after later down the line. They'll become like grails or anything. Just because it's kind of hard to find people who like these crossover pops in general. Um, but I still think they look cool in the collection. I do have an anime wall opposite of this. I do collect a lot of the animation pops as well. So this was a no-brainer for me for a collection. Um, up next we have this Karapi and Suyu collab. Um, this one I actually like. Um, I did, I've been wanting to get this Karapi Funko Pop, but this one's really expensive. The regular Karapi one's going for like a hundred or hundred or more dollars. Um, so I haven't gotten my hands on that one, but I think he's a pretty cool looking pop. It just kind of reminds me of those old school Japanese cartoons, and that's why I like these Hello Kitty Pops. Um, but this Suyu's really dope. I think it's really fitting that they decided to make the frog Sanrio character into Suyu. Just made a lot of sense and uh, the execution on it really looks cool. Let me show you guys a closer up view of this one. This is one of my favorite ones. I actually didn't, again, the, the one I'm about to show you after this is the one I was most excited about as well as Tuxedo Sam because you guys know I like the penguin pops. I have a whole penguin collection back there. Um, but this frog is really, really cool looking. There's a closer up view of him. Like I said, it just reminds me of the old vintage uh, Japanese cartoons, and that's what I do like. And, uh, you know, like anime, and this kind of reminds me of that. And uh, the collab together just looks and was executed really well. Um, the CU costume, I think it looks a little different. I'm trying to find. Nah, it looks about the same. The only other thing they could have done, I guess, is put the little goggles like CU has, but I guess since the eyes are too big for the frog, I guess they weren't going to go ahead and do that. Um, it kind of would have jumbled the pop up a little bit. But I think they did a really good job making this pop and a really cool one to have in the collection. And last but not least, this is the one I was most excited about. And I think this one actually may become one that people seek after for a while. Now, this pop is really, really nice. Again, I wanted the regular character for him. Um, he's expensive as well. I think he's going for like 80 bucks now. And that is Bats Maru uh, Bakugo right there. Um, this one is extremely, extremely nice to me. I think the execution on this one is really great. And I think the reason why I like this one over the others is they they found a way to actually turn the Sanrio character into the full hero costume for uh, My Hero Academia by using his ears um, as Bakugou's, cost, Bakugou's costume. Um, now, I made a video recently asking or making a video asking for Funko to make the Bakugo hero costume. And I think they are. There's a rumor that that's coming out for San Diego Comic-Con this year. So hopefully that's the case. Otherwise, we're stuck with this Basamaru as being the only uh, hero costume for, for Bakugo available out there. Um, but I think they did a really, really good job. I hope they make that other Bakugo so that this one will look nice side by side with it. Uh, but there you go. It's an out of box look at this gem right here. Extremely, extremely nice. Um, I don't know if this guy's a penguin or not. He looks like a penguin to me, and that's kind of why I like him. Um, I like to collect all the pango, penguin Funko Pops, um, but this one is really, really dope looking. Bakugo is one of my favorite characters on My Hero Academia, just because he is a little bit more uh, rough around the edges. You know, he's not a villain, but he could very well be one. And uh, I think this one looks really cool because he's got that scowl on his face and just looks like he could be Bakugo. So yeah, this is my favorite of the collab. I don't know why it's not zooming in for you guys. But there's a closer up view. Um, but yeah, this, this, this pop just looks really dope. Um, but let me know your thoughts. I know a lot of people, like I said, weren't feeling this My Hero Academia Sanrio collab, um, but I think it came in really, really nice, and the pops look better in person than they did even in pictures. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Just wanted to show you guys these pops since I was excited about getting them and get your thoughts. Um, if you've not already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you have not already followed me on Instagram, follow me at the Pop Savage on there as well so you can stay connected. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Till next time, I'll see you later.